I'm telling you this because if you or perhaps a friend with a soldering kit only has a passing familiar with soldering, you're probably better at soldering than I am. And I did it right on my first try. Back to the well that built this channel, the Wish Clown Clone, yet again. Thus far I confirmed that the Wish Clown Clone is super close to the original Clown Centaur, despite being like half a hundredth of the price. I've also dived deeper into the wider world of buying uh, Clown Clones on Wish, as there's a lot of ways to accidentally get the wrong one. And despite the right one being so damn good, the wrong ones are also really not good. Leading from that, I figured out that certain shops sold the right variation of the right one, if you follow me. And this video is basically a follow-up to that video. I was dead sure that if you bought it from the Wish Store, US Dream 2016, you would get a clone clone that's nearly a dead ringer for sounding like the original. And if you bought from another store like CN Clone, you were likely to get one made by a different distributor or something, where for some reason the treble knob didn't work correctly. Long story short, it worked more like a typical tone knob and that only turned your treble down, whereas a true clone treble knob boosts your treble. Well, I swear to gosh that that video was accurate when I published it, and even for a few months after that. However, then, a couple months ago, about the time Yunsuk and I recorded the Violin Pedals video, US Dream 2016 went down. It's come back since then, but now people are telling me that it's no longer selling the right pedal, and it also now has the treble knob issue. And now, confusing the issue more, CN Clone is apparently selling the right ones. It's an upside down world. I can't go back and recant, that video is out there and it illustrates the difference between the two versions, which is important because I've still not seen anyone else talk about it. Plus for all we know, these shops might switch back to their old distributors, so it's really a goose chase to try and say how it will be at any given time. But as I was struggling with this, a guardian angel by the name of Jonathan Wong came in and showed me the way. It's not the treble knob that's wrong, the layout of the circuit on the pedals with the black PCB is just a bit wrong. Aside from telling me this, Jonathan Wong was also super cool to send me a more fleshed out explanation, and pictures to understand what to do. And as far as mods go, this may be the easiest mod I've ever seen. To be clear, I'm awful at soldering circuits. My soldering skills don't really extend past, you know, fixing and making XLR cables. I'm telling you this because if you or perhaps a friend with a soldering kit only has a passing familiar with soldering, you're probably better at soldering than I am. And I did it right on my first try. That's right, you too can mod your black PCB Wish Clon Clone to make it sound like the right Wish Clon Clone. And that's what we're doing today. First though, let's do a quick comparison to refresh your memory on the difference between these two seemingly identical pedals. What you'll notice is that while the gold clone clone sounds almost just like the clean sound with these settings, the silver clone clone here sounds quite a bit darker. Here it is again with something a bit chunkier. Now, a lot of people like to point out that there's always room for like a 10% variance in pots, so they shouldn't sound exactly the same anyways, but let me tell you, that's not what 10% sounds like. But to put this to rest from the get-go, I'm instead going to swing for the fences and take both treble knobs to the max, so we can definitely hear what they sound like at their extremes. To be clear, this isn't a sound you want 99% of the time. Even for people like John Mayer, who seem to only use the clon for the treble boost, don't use it like this. But I'm just trying to show in as scientific a way as possible how they're different. Yeah, the difference here should be pretty clear. The Silver Clown clone sounds basically this identical to the clean signal despite the treble knob being turned up all the way, how its tone knob usually works. But the Gold Clown clone's got that clown stank on it. Let's hear it again with that chunkier riff again. Thank you. 
At this point, some people might ask, well, what if I don't want a trouble boost on my clone? Well, one, you don't have to. I hope you like it. But two, the correct trouble knob still has all the range and ability of a normal tone knob. It's just that uh, non-filtered is about 10 or 11 o'clock instead of up all the way, and can still get all the tones of a tone knob. Again, though, if, if, if you don't want it it's, and it's not your thing, I'm not here to judge. Just, just stop watching the video. But if you want your Klon clone to sound and work like an original Klon Centaur, you want it to have the treble boost. End of story. Alright, let's get to modding. Like I've said, I'm not a real great soldering guy, but I still have a little workstation together to, with all the tools I thought I would need for this, including a small flathead to get the bigger knobs off, bigger Phillips head to get the back off, solder sucker for mistakes, pliers, big and small, for getting the hardware off, a sponge for the soldering iron, soldering iron, turn it on now by the way. I like that these old Radio Shack models can do high and low wattage, and of course, solder and the pedal. Now at this point I'm going to clarify that this isn't a how to solder video, but I do try to keep everything I need laid out nearby and arranged so I can remember what went to where, and maybe you can use this to keep track of stuff yourself. Big note from Jonathan Wong, you may have to desolder the foot switch connector to get to the other side of that PCB. Luckily for me that wasn't the case. Once everything was unscrewed, including the foot switch, I was able to just pop it out by pushing on the knobs. You'll want to use this LED light as your North Star. You go two over, two, you go, well I guess one over, one down, and then it's this number three and four here. One, two, three, four, three and four. These are the guys we are doing our solder on. Just doing a solder jumper. I originally tried to keep some solder to make a, a solder wire, if that makes sense, but in reality it just turned into a big solder blob. And there it is. Before I put it back together, I also make sure it passed the signal appropriately and that the treble knob still works. We're good. Well, first shot was a success. Don't be wrong though. Doing a solder jump like that is ugly. I suspect anybody who knows what they're doing can do this better. Look at that, all that solder. Ugh. Putting it back together, keep all the washers in there, etc. I honestly don't even know what to say about this. Then of course we gotta test this and run the comparison again. But before we verify, we have a message from the sponsor of this video. By the sponsor, I of course mean me. I don't have sponsors, I'm, I'm barely past 600 subs. First off, I really want to thank everyone who, on the Wish Clon Clone Buying Guide video, actually used the link to buy their own Clon Clones on Wish. It did give me a good amount of store credit, and I did get me a little something something from Wish with it. Specifically, I got this Super 64 card. It doesn't work, because you know, Wish. But still, thank you so much. If you do decide to get anything else using that link again in the description for this video as well, it'd be super nice. Maybe if you do, tell me if there's another pedal or guitar gear on Wish that I should be looking at. And if we build up the funds, I'd be happy to get it and do another video. But also, as a quick aside, when I started doing these videos, I had done it in the hopes that I could make enough money on them to buy more pedals. Therefore, any uh, pedal purchases I made would be legitimate investments. Kind of, sort of. And also, you know, sustain my gear acquisition habit, which is what I'm really here for, right? Well, I've bought the pedals. In fact, I've like tripled my pedal supply. But I've not made any money, and it's, uh, it's, it's getting kind of tight. And I want to keep going, although I know I should probably slow down and make uh, more one-off pedal videos of the ones I've bought. However, there are other pedals I really want to look at, like the Line 6 DL4 Mark II, the Line 6 DL4 Mark I, the Boss Space Echo RE202, the Way Huge Atreides, and the Sub Decay Prometheus DLX. And if you want to help me on this journey, I have here my various electronic payment handles for donations. If you decide to donate, please also tell me which pedal you want me to look at first. It can be any of the ones I mentioned, or it can be anything else, and I will follow whatever everyone tells me to do with it. Heck, maybe you want me to get an original Klon Centaur Professional Overdrive? It'd be cool, and I guarantee I will never sell it. Any amount would mean the world and it would help the channel out a lot. 
But if it's not in the deck at this time, I totally understand. And I would still love it if you can do all the usual YouTube things like comment, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. It'd all be super helpful. Well, with that, let's jump back in. Was the mod a success or do you hear any differences? Let's listen. See, that's what a 10% variance might sound like, i.e. almost non-existent. Let's try it at the extremes also. there you have it. They're, they're identical to my ears. Tell me if I'm wrong. And it was a hack solder job, so if I can do it, I'd say like 95% of people with a soldering iron can definitely do it. Go forth and purchase the Wish Clown Clones with ease of mind. It'll sound awesome, and it'll turn into a mainstay on your board. Heck, get two, or if you're like me, get six. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Watch my videos, etc, etc. Watch all of them twice.